Welcome to an Ash Design training video. Today I want to show you our new Essentials action set and these are really just essential actions for all your photo editings. Here I'm showing you some before and afters to give you an idea of how you can just fix the white balance, the contrast, the brightness of your images. Let's start with Essentials 1 which is our clarity action. I'm just going to go to my actions palette and click play to run the action. That's going to run in the background and then it's going to give me a clarity layer in my layers palette. So I'll just adjust the opacity of the layer to my liking. Uh, you can take it all the way up and you can bring it down and just find the spot that works with your image. Now I want to run Essentials Action 2 which is the balance and brighten action. Again we're just going to find the action in our actions palette and click play to run. This one's going to give us a little more detailed instructions and I'm just going to step you through how to follow those. It's going to bring up this palette and the first thing we want to do is find the widest spot of our image. So I'm just going to take this black triangle and I'm going to slide it all the way over. And You'll see in the background my image turns black and it's going to leave some of the widest areas so that I can see the widest part of my image. Once I identify where I think the widest part of my image is, I'm just going to come back and I'm going to put that black slider all the way back to the left where it goes. And then I'm going to get my white dropper and I'm going to select that area that I found before. And I'll just move this out of the way. There's a preview button so I can show you this is my before and this is my after. And once I'm happy with that white balance, I just click OK to continue running the action. Now this one's a little bit different than some of our other actions. We're going to use a black brush this time to paint away uh, the action. So this one applied it to everything and I'm going to use a black brush to take it back off of areas where I don't want it. You might notice that I lost some of the detail in some of my whiter areas like this part of her shirt which was my whitest and so I can just paint in that area to bring back some of that detail. So again I'm painting off the effect which is opposite of some of the other actions we've used. Now we're going to jump into Essentials Actions 3, which is Luminance, and I'm going to run the action just as I've run all of the others. Hit the play button here, and we're going to go back to a white brush. You'll be able to tell that we want a white brush by the black layer mask area we have over there. And so I'm just going to get a soft white brush, and I'm going to paint on the effects of Luminance. And it just adds a bright radiance, uh, so anywhere that you kind of have a darker area that you just really want to add a, a warm glow to, um, you'll want to use the luminance. So I'm just going to add a little bit and then I'll go back to my layers palette and adjust the opacity to my liking. Now I'm going to run essential action number four which is contrast. And so I'm going to run the action. This is the same as all of the others. And then once that runs it's going to create another layer and it's going to tell me to use a white brush again. Uh, I have that black layer mask and so I'm going to want to paint on the effect with my white brush. So I'll hit continue, make sure I have my layer mask selected and I have a white brush. And then just anywhere I want to add contrast to my image, I'll go ahead and paint that on. Once I've painted into my image anywhere I want to add some contrast, I can always make additional adjustments by going back to the layers palette and adjusting the opacity of the overall layer to get the total effects that I want. Once I'm happy with the contrast, I'm going to move on to essential action number five, which is vibrance. And vibrance adds a rich color to your image. Again, we're going to run the action and use a white brush just to add a pop of color anywhere that we want to see more color in our image. Um, if you have flowers and things like that, that's a great spot to use Vibrance. So again, I'll just paint it on with my white brush. And then I can adjust the opacity again to my liking uh, to find that layer where I want it. And then here's my before image, before all the actions, and the after with everything run. And so you can really see the change that makes. And then I just thought we'd go back and I'll show you a few more of these before and afters. Again, we just use the five Essentials Photoshop actions on each of these. They're super easy to run and really transform your images and make your photo editing process super easy. Thanks for joining me today.